going to show you how to do this. Uh, all right, so what I've done is I made a new container on this page with three columns. And I did the first uh, one here, Wayne Hopkins, uh, and you can, I'll show you what I did. So um, what you can easily do is clone these elements just by clicking that little plus button there, and you can drag them into the next one. So there's, a, there's an image frame, and then there's a text box. Okay, so just do like that. And do it again. And do it again. This is just a fast way to repeat yourself. Um, you can also clone this entire row. If you clone, hit this, it'll make a whole new row with these three elements in it, which will speed things up. Okay, so then you click on this image element, the little right thing. Uh, you'll want to remove that image, upload the new image, which is already uploaded. So here's Lane's image, here's the next one, uh, Stella, Eric, okay. This is set to full size, all right, insert into post. Uh, and then here's the tricky part. Um, it's good practice to fill in the, uh, uh, oops, this is in the wrong place, the image alt text. Um, that would help somebody who can't see the images in some way. Um, and, but here's the trickier part. Okay, to link the PDF, I have another tab open here. And I'm going to the library for the media. So I see all the stuff you uploaded yesterday, and down here I'll see the PDFs, okay? Um, so here's the tricky part. I have to associate, figure out what you meant by uh, Stella, Eric, and where's Stella, Eric down in here, okay? Uh, is that, oh, here it is, Eric, okay. So hit edit, it'll pop up this little window. And over here where it says File URL, you have to uh, select All, copy that, go back to the post, and paste it into here where it says Picture Link URL. That's going to link out to the PDF. Here it's set to blank, which will open a new tab, okay? And like I said, it's a good idea to, to fill in this. Uh, uh, I'm probably spelling it wrong. Okay. That's just, if, I'll show you where that works. Okay, so you hit save, and now we see that here, all right? Now, one other thing you can do is link the text here. So I'm gonna kill this link here. I'm gonna say Stella Eric, and you can put any other copy that you want, any other copy goes here. But if you wanna link this to the PDF, highlight it, hit the link tool, paste your uh, PDF URL, hit the link options, hit open link in new tab, and hit update, and then hit save. All right, so let's publish this, update it, and let's take a look at what that has done. Okay, new post. Oh, that's the wrong one, this one. Okay. All right, so here you see, here's Wayne, here's Stella. If I click on this, it's gonna open a new tab with Stella Eric's PDF, okay? Same with Wayne. Um, you can see the problem here with this very wide image and this very narrow image. Um, there is potentially a way to make this, uh, sort of customize this on a row by row basis. So for instance, if we know that this would be better if it spanned two rows, you could do that. I'll show you how. So let's go back to the post. So here's this whole row. I'm going to clone this row, make a second version of it. So here's this, another row. This is where you can start working in the next batch. We still need to do this one. But in this case, this image might look better if it spanned both columns. So I'm going to trash this one here. And I'm going to set this to be a two-thirds column. So now that'll span that space. Okay, let's take a look at what that means. Update. Okay, let's see how that looks. Bum, bum, bum. That looks a lot better. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't fill out the whole width here because actually I think this image, that's, that's probably as, as big as the image gets, but it does look a lot nicer. So you could think about as you're building out these rows, um, you know, customizing it a little bit. 
But you can always upload a larger image to this if you wanted it to come to the edge here. Probably something about, uh, you know, 1,500 pixels would do it. Um, the image that you uploaded here uh, is 640 by 233. So yeah, like a thousand pixels would probably span that um, if you have it. So that's how to do that. Um, oh, the, the alt tag, let me just show you what happens with that. If I hover over an image where I have an alt tag, um, or if I show an image, in this case, because the, there's a link, it doesn't show it to me, but if I, if for, in some browsers it would show the alt tag, which would be the, the, the artist's name in this case, that's considered good practice, so you might want to do that. All right, let me know if this helps. I'm going to stop now.